Nepal is a small landlocked country in the Himalayas and has a long history of nomads, refugees, and conquerors entering and settling. These many ethnic groups are separated by the rugged terrain. More than 85% of the population is rural, living in small villages. The rest of Nepal's people live in cities or towns. Nepal's mountainous terrain and deep river gorges keep its people isolated from each other and hamper development. But the hauntingly beautiful Himalayas are Nepal's greatest draw. A record number of tourists flew to Nepal in 2011, bringing millions of dollars into the country. The tourist industry is seen as a way to alleviate poverty and achieve greater social equity. Women in Nepal have a hard life because so much work is done by hand. They are often forced into early marriages by their parents. They don't attend school for as many years and attend less frequently than their brothers. The unemployment rate in Nepal is over 40%. Approximately 90% of the people make their living by subsistence farming and can find work only during the planting and harvesting seasons. The Dining for Women trip to Nepal in November 2011 was a study tour to see how the donations of DFW members have impacted the lives of women and girls. Seventeen women spent two weeks traveling and trekking, observing and learning about the lives of women impacted by three grassroots organizations to which Dining for Women has given money. Those organizations are Heifer International, One Heart, which stands for Health, Education, and Research in Tibet, and SWAN, the Social Welfare Association of Nepal. Heifer International began work in Nepal in 1957. Three of their focus areas are food and income security, education, and empowerment. All Heifer participants receive training on self-help group management, improved animal management, and fodder and forage production, as well as Heifer's 12 Cornerstones for Just and Sustainable Development. These can be written as the acronym Passing on the gifts. These principles and more were demonstrated in the five heifer projects we visited. At one, the Jalpadevi Community Development Project, we met a woman who learned to read as an adult. She felt empowered to be able to catch the right bus and find a room at the hospital without asking others for help. How emancipated and happy she felt. We ate a lunch of popcorn, roasted soybeans, and marinated greens with the group and were entertained in the new community center they had just completed, which had a cement floor, a rarity in a community where most floors are packed dirt. Through the generous members of Dining for Women, One Heart and Swan are working together to prevent pregnancy-related deaths. The DFW study group visited a small village and toured the birthing center. We saw the delivery room and observed a training session that provides maternal health care lessons to skilled birth attendants. Every mother in the world wants a healthy baby to rock. There is only one doctor for every 17,500 people in Nepal. We visited the only hospital in the region in the village of Baglung. Pictured here is one of the doctors at the hospital. He gave us a tour of the operating room where cesarean section births are performed and a delivery room where regular and difficult births take place. A drying rack with washed latex gloves was standing nearby. (laughs) 
In Nepal, women are often deprived of their rights and discrimination against them is rampant, especially in rural villages. The root problems lie in poverty and lack of education, but also some traditions and beliefs put women in a weaker social role. Swan is working to overcome these issues. Swan believes education is the foundation for a sustainable society and its development. They have been instrumental in supporting a rural school and ensuring as many girls as boys are educated. A few years ago, they helped institute learning English as well as the local language so that those rural students have as bright a future as their urban counterparts. Dining for Women is the Dinner Giving Circle. Over 6,000 women worldwide dine together monthly and contribute the money they would have spent in a restaurant to support the mission of Dining for Women. The mission for Dining for Women is that it empowers women living in extreme poverty by funding programs fostering good health, education, economic self-sufficiency, and cultivates educational dinner circles, inspiring individuals to make a difference to the power of collective giving. This power of collective giving is witnessed two to three times a year through the travel program. The Dining for Women travel program provides a unique opportunity to connect face-to-face -face with the women we support. These experiences deepen our understanding of the issues faced by women around the world while fostering strong bonds of friendship with the other travelers in our group. On each trip, we meet with groups that DFW has supported in the past, finding out firsthand the impact that our contributions have made in the lives of the women we support. Music 